Well, safe to say that Sunday was not, let's just say that today was not the day of the Texans as they got dismantled by a score of 34 to seven. But before I talk about it, what up YouTube? LTH coming at you with a video. 713 to buy your city man here. So let's talk about it. Yeah, it was an off day all around today. You know, on both sides of the ball for the Texans. You know, I could care less about stats and all garbage time at that, but I mean, this team was out of sync throughout pretty much all, all day today. You know, miscues that did the Texans in, such as penalties once again, you know, hit 11 penalties, double digit penalties at that, mostly on the offense. You know, and then Petrie committed a boneheaded pass interference would put, put the Vikings at first and goal. I mean, dang. This Texans team was outcoached, outsmarted, overpowered. You know, I mean, you name it. I mean, they had no answer going. They had no kind of answer today. You know, knowing that needed big games for key players such as Diggs and Dale and that wasn't the case and it really I mean yeah Joe Mixon and Damian Pierce will miss today but this was inexcusable very inexcusable at that but yeah the Texans did I mean the Vikings did beat the Texans but what's even worse than the Vikings beating the Texans and yeah I do give Minnesota credit they did their thing I mean, they did their thing. They were the better team, more prepared. But what's worse, yes, the Vikings did beat the Texans, but what's worse than the Vikings beating the Texans is that the Texans beat themselves. They, and I'm not trying to use that as an excuse and all, but no excuses, but I gotta say, they beat themselves to hell like crazy. You know, like I said, with key mistakes, you know, boneheaded penalties, you know. You know, they weren't they, they weren't playing smart enough football today. Which is also can be known as complimentary football in which the Texans didn't play today. You know, Stroud throwing two picks today. And yeah, he did throw a TD pass today to Cam Makers, but man, he didn't change the fact that Stroud didn't look too look as bright as he normally would today. You know, throwing two picks today, which was the first time that happened since week 11 of last season when he threw them three picks in the second half versus the Cardinals, in which they barely won, by the way. But though the first pick wasn't on Stroud, you know, which was tipped with interception by Kamu Grugier Hill, the former Texan, who nearly had himself another forced turnover, you know, but luckily that was overturned, but... Grugier did his thing, the former Texan. And that second interception stride through, that was on him. I mean, thankfully, they took him out late in the game because, man, that dude was getting clobbered. And like I say, like I said in the, before the game, you know, in which they failed to do, they got to, you know, they got to do score early and often to, you know, to keep the crowd out of it. But, couldn't do it. You know, Laramie Tunsil had five penalties on him today. I mean, golly. In which what I learned, they got a lot to clean up. Because, yeah, Jacksonville is coming to town next week. And I got to say, the Texans have a lot to clean up after this abysmal out in the day. Because it was, it was tough to watch. Definitely tough to watch. And yeah, Je Justin Jefferson didn't have a catch in the second half, but man, he was getting them catches in in the first half. I mean, and who had a TD, by the way? You know, I mean, Sam Donald, you know, he had himself a game, outplayed Stroud, and John Grenard, the former Texan, had three of the Vikings' five sacks. I mean, I mean, yeah. This loss really serves the Texans as a rude awakening for sure. So, 
There, there it is. So, a rude awakening. So, there you have it. But, let's see if they can recover next week. You know, in that home game versus Jacksonville. You know, but hey, that's about all I got. You know, the LTH checking on the body hill, 713, the Bayou City. I'm out. Peace.